while total product tends to increase with the addition of more inputs, and each additional input may generate progressively smaller increases in total output, firms may also need to know how much is produced by the average input. Average product is the output per unit of a specific factor of production. It is calculated by dividing the total output by the total units of input. For example, the average product of labor in a firm is the overall output divided by the total number of workers. This measure is analogous to the labor productivity in an economy or the overall number of goods and services produced per person, which is often used as an indicator of living standards in a country. To calculate the average product, other inputs have to be held constant. The average product curve for a typical good is shaped like an inverted U. Typically, the average product curve will rise sharply if the labor force increases from one worker to two because the extra worker allows for a division of labor that enables specialization to occur. This is shown in the marginal product curve as the positively sloped portion because the second worker adds more to the production process than the first worker. The slope of the average product curve will also be positive as long as this process of specialization continues. At some point, there will be less scope for specialization and adding extra workers will produce a smaller increase in output. Eventually, the difficulty of managing large groups of people will lead to a situation where additional workers will reduce average output, even faster than the total output is reduced because the average output is divided by a larger number of workers. When this happens, the curve will slope downward. Unlike the marginal product curve, the average product curve can never be negative, which means it will never cross the horizontal axis. While the slope can be negative because additional workers aren't adding much to the process, total product can never be negative, and the number of workers can never be negative. If a firm continue to place workers into a room until the point where absolutely nothing is accomplished, the average product would equal zero.